Welcome back everybody. This week we're going to take a look at the Malaysi 2K water base. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to look at our normal stuff here. Denatured alcohol, acetone, lacquer thinner, and butyl cellusolve. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit of technical information on how I prepared this. This is one coat of uh, vinyl sealer and then two coats of the Malaysi top coat. Now, Malaysi does not recommend vinyl sealer, but that's the way I like to do my water base. So I like to test them under those conditions to see how it works. Now, they do have a uh, primer um, that is a 2K product, which is rather interesting. But just so that you guys know how I'm testing this, that's the way I've got this set up. All right, so let's do the denatured alcohol first. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, acetone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And <clears throat> lacquer thinner. Ten. And last but not least, the butyl cell you solve. All right, so there's your denatured alcohol. Um, it is cutting it somewhat. Um, this is your acetone. It did cut it a little bit. Your lacquer thinner, kind of the same. Right, and then and the butyl cell you solve, which is right there. And it didn't do a whole lot to it, a little bit right in there, if you can see. Now, just as a comparison, um, because I know everybody wants to know, well, how does it compare to others? So this is the um, solvent base conversion varnish from CIC. And so if we kind of compare and contrast those, um, as you can see, the denatured alcohol, it glosses it. Um, it rubs through just very slightly on this, uh, very minimal. Um, the acetone or sorry lacquer thinner let me get the same same setup here kind of see the differences between those they're about they're very similar and then the acetone is very similar if, as you can see between the two so as far as the Malaysi versus a solvent based conversion varnish I think you're very it's very close it could probably go either way um, depending on depending on factors now here's an interesting one you can add a cross linker to the CIC um, and this is only with a 5% cross linker added so we'll look at that just kind of real quick here um, very similar results there's the denatured alcohol lacquer thinner and acetone oh sorry acetone is down here so very similar um, so there's just kind of a little comparison between the two so um, in my opinion the Malaysi and the CIC are kind of the top shelf that I've seen um, that I've actually tested water base wise as of now more resistance now this is really sort of a guys have asked me about this and asked me to do this but I just want to say that this is kind of a difficult test to do because most of these products show very similar in that aspect um, the right way to do it is like a, a true hardness test where it's a little thing with a cart and has like different um, size leads or thicknesses and they, they, they do the hardness that way um, it's really kind of hard to measure, but nevertheless, let's do it just so that we can look Here's at with it. with a, like a nail punch set. And pretty much we're just denning the wood really. Whoa. We're just denning the wood. There's not a lot of like, um, chipping, even though this is a pretty hard finish. So it's got some good flexibility to the finish. And then we'll do like a quarter penny test. Same thing there. You're just getting a, a, a wood dent. So, I'll give you my final thoughts on this Malaysi and kind of the story of what happened. All right, so what's my final thoughts on the Malaysi 2K? Well, I think if you're looking 
for a top tier um, water base, I think the Malaysi is one of them, only to be rivaled by the CIC conversion varnish. Now the only way that you can get that same chemical resistance out of the um, CIC in a pigmented is to add the crosslinker to it, which I'm going to do a whole nother video on that and I'm going to show you and compare and contrast the differences. Now if you're looking at a solvent based comparison, I kind of did that in the video where you can see that it's probably on par, you know, maybe better, a little worse depending on the product um, as a solvent based conversion varnish. So if the guys out there are looking for an alternative to um, the solvent based world and you're looking for that durability of a conversion varnish, I think that the Malaysi um, is a great choice for that. Now I will say there's one caveat to this <clears throat> and that's the thickness of this material. Um, in a Zon 2 at 70 degrees um, you're looking at almost 2 minutes and 30 to 40 seconds of time that that's straining through that material. Um, now with a pigment you need a little bit more pressure too um, to get it atomized correctly. So if you're using a turbine unit and you're a mobile guy, um, it's going to be a problem for you. And that's one of the things that I ran into. The only way to, the only workaround to it is to thin it about 15 to 20 percent and use a retarder, um, at least to get the um, results that I want. Another thing that you can do is not add as much um, hardener into it so that it keeps the material a little bit thinner and you can go as low as the five percent I have checked that with my rep and he said that was fine now if you have an air assisted airless or an airless or a really nice HVLP gun like say in the four hundred dollar range you're probably going to be okay um, but obviously you know transporting that stuff is a little bit more difficult um, so that's just something to be aware of but if you do shoot it it shoots very very nice um, this is a gloss that I shot and as you can see um, it's like glass so and this was straight off the gun no reduction nothing just through an air assisted airless um, it has a pretty good hang time on it because it's thicker so if you're shooting vertical surfaces you don't have to worry too much about runs so if you have the right setup, an air assisted airless, an airless unit, um, or a very nice HVLP or conventional gun, I think this is a good product for you to give a shot and try out. Um, I will say it does shoot out a little bit orange peely for my taste, um, but it does level out very nicely. Um, and that seems to be um, sort of a, um, a, a trait of the... Um, European style they tend to shoot out a little more orange peely than the American um, Stuff, but again it it levels out just fine But you know if you're used to solvent based stuff and you see this coming out you're gonna think it's an absolute nightmare um, So anyway, that'll wrap up my review of that we are gonna do um, a sort of compare and contrast um, against the CIC and the Malaysi so that you can kind of see the differences and advantages um, to each one of those um, kind of head to head we're going to kind of put the kings together and uh, face them off so stay tuned make sure you hit the bell notifications if you want to um, be notified of the videos that I send out every week um, thanks for watching you can follow me on Facebook um, or Instagram and we'll catch you next time thanks mm -hmm.